so glad I followed his advice as I am certain this is a much better view than if I was to actually climb the Usan Cliffs myself and you get this panoramic view not only of the cliffs to the right but the whole coast to the left and the breeze is fantastic I feel like a mountain on Pride Rock so we just parked right up there and we're gonna take the red route up and then take the yellow route down so these three people may be older than me but they're definitely more in shape their hobby is to climb mountains I'm a bit concerned because I haven't been exercising over the winter. Let's travel 370 meters landmark, but we still have 1.2 kilometers ahead. If you're coming here with your girlfriend, I suggest that you just climb up this, take a selfie and call it a day. But I'm just gonna have to follow along with their plans. So that's the famous Ulsan Cliffs. It's part of Soraksan that we're gonna try to see at eye level by climbing up to the very top. You do have the ability to climb up Usan rock, but it's almost like the same concept as going to Sigria in Sri Lanka and choosing to climb Sigria or choosing to climb the cliff that's right next to it so you get the best picture and view of Sigria. There's no joke. I, I can't keep up with them. I will say that this is one of the most natural trails I've been in Korea. For the most part, it's uh, very impressionable how the roots of the tree form the steps up this very steep 45 degree angle climb. Okay, so we're at Rice Cake Rock. There's actually another viewpoint in between the two rocks, but I, I was just dead tired. I thought I was gonna die. The one thing that this location has over all the places I was climbing in Southeast Asia and Thailand, like Tiger Cave Temple, etc., is that there's plenty of shade, but it's definitely a more strenuous walk. Oh, look at this beautiful sight. It's the East Coast right there. Almost there. Here we are. Shinsande this is what we want to see. Oh my gosh, this is such a great feeling. In between these two rocks here, you get the breeze that filters right through there. Oh, this is like the best feeling I've had. So vast. Oh, that's Usan Mountain right there. I can't believe how amazing this place is. I've always known that Korean mountains are the mountains to climb. They are notorious for having the best views, but this is fantastic. This uh, honestly doesn't compare to any other site I've seen. It's just so vast out there. Pictures don't do this justice. Just look at how vast that is. And then the, the natural rocky top. I've seen similar sites in Krabi, but the scale is smaller and there's a temple, so it doesn't give that natural look. And you certainly don't get that magnificent sight of the Ulsan Cliffs. And uh, when I look over on this side, it reminds me sort of of Ella in Sri Lanka, which is one of my favorite um, locations. But it's definitely a lot smaller in scale. Uh, but it's very similar how they have the road right there and me and Mayu would be watching those cars. But this is just very magnificent. I must be saying this word so many times, but um, very unique Korean landscape the types of vegetation here and uh, uh, just the tall buildings down to the bottom. You don't really see that everywhere. And uh, ooh, that is the first cliff that we saw. So that gives you sort of an idea of what we actually did. The parking lot is down there, that little white patch. And then we climbed up there and yeah, this is, it's not an easy climb, that's for sure. Oh, look at that. 
They have cute little frogs. It's so cat. It's green and black with orange in the bottom. Now I do see that there are people over there by that cliff. Uh, we're gonna head over in that direction. Oh, this actually scares me quite a bit. This is extreme hiking. This, this is, you definitely want to bring correct shoes. Uh, there's even little spots of wetness we had to avoid. Um, I don't know. They're, they're, these are more for show, honestly. Luckily, the rubber down there is pretty grippy. Getting better. Oh, so happy we came on a very good weather. When... It's dry, not too sunny, and it's breezy. More frogs, more frogs, more frogs. So cool how all these little ponds that form on the top of these cliffs are habitats for these frogs. They're in every little pond. And uh, so great that they get to live away from humanity. Oh, that one looks different. That's not green. That's very dark. Man, Mayu would really like this. Cute frog. A frog has jumped into the side of this rocky cliff. Oh, it's pretty dangerous. It's, it's straight death if you fall out of here, actually. I'm not gonna venture any closer. Oh, I have to say these rocks are quite unique. Um, they look sort of like quartz, but very fragile. I think if I touched it, it would literally just dribble off. So I learned something interesting. I thought there weren't a lot of people in this uh, hiking trail because it's COVID. But they tell me actually due to COVID, the hiking trails are completely packed. He tells me that next to his neighborhood, there's a very popular hiking trail. And usually it's only packed during the weekends. But now, even during the weekdays, Anytime in the afternoon, you can't find parking. This is actually a, a very great path considering. I uh, highly recommend if you come to this Saraksan area, try to come here. So lesson of today about Eastern philosophy is that when Eastern Asians draw a picture, the landscape is the primary focus of our drawings. And when you see a subject matter, they're usually very small in the picture as that sort of a philosophy that tells us that people compared to nature are insignificant. I tried to sound Confucius there, but nah, I'm, I'm not that kind of guy. I'm, I'm too hood for it. But, you know, you guys sort of get the idea. Uh, I think I'm sort of feeling it too, that I am just an insignificant part of this vast universe. <laughs> All right, cold creek to cool off our swollen feet. <laughs> if you're sweaty all over, you can skinny dip. <laughs> ah, so cold. Water is super clear and clean. In America, to see water, you have to go after the winter season, like Yosemite, because all the water is created from the melted snow. But I've been told that a majority of the water here is either from underground springs or the trees themselves, they soak up all the water in the roots and then when it gets hotter, they release it. I don't know if I explained that correctly. But it's definitely a great feeling, whatever the case, wherever it comes from, highly recommend you experience it. All right, so we came down the right-handed side and uh, it's located right across the Buddhist temple. If you want an easier path, then I recommend you go right and then come down right. There again is where we went up. 
And over there, about 20 meters, is the other route. Steep, more scenic route. Longer, gradual, easier route. Recommend that you do this because actually going down, you don't want to go down there because I think your knees are going to give out. So either go up there and like this if you're not confident, or if you are, just take that clockwise route like we did. Whatever the case, I hope you found this episode interesting. Believe you me, when I was 300 meters up, I was cursing. I'm like, why did I decide to follow this party of this treacherous path? So it's like almost like my first experience snowboarding, cursing at myself for deciding to drop hundreds of dollars into gear when I am having such a hard time. But once you're at the top and experiencing such a magnificent sight, I think it, it makes it all worth it. It's almost like gambling, guys. You know, it's that first win that makes you get addicted. Uh, I think this was my first win right here. Yeah. <sighs> at a rest stop. That's the mountain that we climbed. Actually, it's one of the smaller ones. And uh, that's the view of the ocean. And that's the side view of Ulsan Cliffs. All right, time to go though. Drop by the property that my dad's friend is going to buy. And it looks a lot better than when we saw it in the winter. Guys, look at this. There's so much to eat here. And the owner sort of not caring whether or not uh, they grow or not. They're just sort of tired of maintaining it. Uh, ooh, my mom's found strawberries. Our organic strawberries are very small. These are the famous Korean peaches. There's so many other things here. I didn't even see this line. They say one of these are corn. I'm, uh, this must be corn. I don't know what that is. <laughs> this is this is modern day Farmville. This is modern day real life Animal Crossing. Ooh. Ooh. All right, three generations of blood sausage soup. We're gonna check this out. Wait, 